This is the Loveless Wigs. Just came today. Just a basic priority mail envelope, flat rate envelope. And the wig is inside this. So we're going to go ahead and open that. So this it comes in a little bag, which I guess this is nice compared to, I read some other reviews where people were saying it just came in a plastic bag. Um, so inside they put a nice little letter. Sorry, I don't know if you guys could see that. Um, happily, because I explained to them that I was wondering where my shipping uh, or tracking number was because I'm leaving or going abroad in a couple weeks so they gave me I guess it's the free silkwood carrier so I'm assuming that that means that you don't get this normally um, I'm, I'm guessing that the wig otherwise would just come like that so this is just because yeah there were issues with my well with receiving it in a timely manner but we'll get to that later on but it's a nice gesture I have to say so yeah so this is the unit out of the package um i'm not a wig expert this is technically my first wig so not really completely sure what i should be expecting but it's a lace front so you have the lace there um it looks like there are combs and it looks like the back is expandable so i'm gonna get this on and we'll see how this is looking Okay, so, hold on a second. Alright. Easy minute. So, I have the wig one. Um, sorry, I don't have a booger. I just popped my, sorry, I'm just taking it on my nose and my currents put my piercing up. But anyway, so I have the wig and it is, you can see the lace right there. I have a um, wig cap on. And I had my hair, I had to braid my hair. I have do have thick hair, but right now I have the wig on. And unfortunately, um, it's way too tight. I'm really kind of in between disappointed and pissed off because I've just spent this money and I'm actually about to leave the country. I'm supposed to be heading out to Korea in a week and at this point, I don't really know what to do. I don't know if there's any way of me getting my money back because it. I like the wig. It actually looks good, but it's just too damn tight. It's way too tight, and it says on their website that they're big head friendly. Um, I have. They had two straps on the side, which I tried to adjust. Um, they were already kind of like at the last like little latch. I moved it out one more to make it bigger. That didn't really help. I took the straps out completely. Um, the actual, my, all of my hair is not actually even tucked in all the way. And it just feels really tight. Like I feel like wearing this for longer than an hour is going to start resulting in headaches um because some people are prone to that because of lack of circulation um and it's sitting even just really tight against my hairline which can't be good for edges for, or if somebody's trying to wear like have long-term wear out of it so uh yeah i don't really know what to do i just sent them a long ass um email um telling them about this and asking them what they're going to do to rectify the situation so, um, let me see if I can get a close up of the hairline. You can guys can huh, see. I mean, is see, look at that. I don't know, even know if there's a way to see the back. But anyway, this is kind of what it's looking like. Like I said, it's not a bad wig. I actually like it. I mean, of course, it would need to be styled. The hairline definitely probably would need to be plucked. Um, but if it was the right size, if it wasn't so damn small, this would have been perfect. Because um, right now I kind of feel like it's just sitting a little bit on top of my head. Um, and it doesn't really look natural. Um, it feels nice. It feels very soft. Um, I believe it's 65%, 65% human hair and then the synthetic mix. So, I mean, it was, it would have been, damn, it would have been perfect. Like, look, down here, great. 
up here a hot mess. So yeah, I don't really know what to do. We'll see what happens. We'll see their response tomorrow. They better respond tomorrow because I'm going to be blowing their shit up. Trust. So yeah. Hey, so um, I'm just going to break down the overall experience in a quick basic review of my the unit that I purchased from Loveless Wigs. Or just a, a little background, I found Loveless Wig, I think I found it through a Google search um, when I was looking and it happened. I think I was looking up uh, black owned wig companies are uh, owned by black women. And um, so when you go to the website, I will say that the website is really nice. Um, the model that they use, I don't know if that's the owner or if it's just a model, but she's gorgeous. Um, it's very stylish. Um, all the photos are put to uh, put together very well. The wigs are slayed in all the photos and they have pretty good photos as far as of each unit with all the different styles and the name. They are based in Marietta, Georgia, and they say on their website that they provide uh, wigs. They do custom wigs, full lace. You have to forgive me because I'm I'm not a wig expert. Uh, they do like the they have full frontal. They do I think they do 360 all human hair, and they also have wigs that are blends. I think it's like 65% human hair and the rest is synthetic. So the unit I purchased is called, the, the one that you saw in the previous uh, um, video is the Liana wig. It was $90. But my initial experience um, prior to paying for the wig was actually good. When I was on the website, um, I was checking the color um, and there's actually like a little chat uh, chat with us sidebar that pops up and so I was actually able to correspond that day with someone a, a sales representative with the questions that I had and uh, you know pretty uh, pretty quick responses so I ended up purchasing the wig and so on their website the shipping says it takes five or on the website it says that it takes five to seven days to process your order once it's processed it is five days for it to be shipped. You will receive a tracking number and in five days you'll receive your unit. Now upon checking the website out later, um, I had to go under, I have my computer right here. Yeah, I had to go under frequently asked questions and it said that they sometimes have delays with the, the um, processing or delays in shipping. That's nowhere mentioned. It's it's only when you go under the FAQs that you see this. And it, do, it does also mention that, I guess, around the holiday times, like we just had Easter pass. So I'm sure people are trying to get their wigs for Sunday service or whatever. Same thing with Christmas, same thing, time, same, excuse me, same thing with Valentine's Day, that they're a bit of behind in whatever, there's a delay. Which is cool. It's good to inform your customers of that. So yeah, it says, please allow seven to nine business days for your order to be shipped depending on the volume. See here it says seven to nine business days, but on my um, invoice, the email that I receive, I believe it said five to seven business days. So I don't know. It says, depending on the volume of orders, shipping may be delayed. We do not grant refunds due to shipping delays. Orders may be dispatched sooner by request for a small fee of $24.50 for three to five day ordering process. These orders will be dispatched from our warehouse. I placed my order for the wig on March 15th and today is April 3rd. I received the wig on April 2nd. So I was going off of their five to seven business days. So seven business days went by and I ended up contacting someone um, in regard, cause I, it's, the day seven came and there was like no email, no confirmation. Cause you get charged immediately. That money came right out of my account immediately. But it's like, I don't know. There's something when you deal with other companies and yeah, I'm sure maybe they're bigger companies you usually get confirmation emails. There's some type of, you know, and I did get that. You get that with the order number, but it seems that 
the processing it can be five days it could be seven it could be nine like you just don't have a guaranteed solid guaranteed time of when you're going to get your shipping your tracking number now this leads to me to my next point it wasn't until i placed my order that i happened i was like let me google search some other stuff as far as like reviews because most people you buy a wig you want to check the reviews um if you go on to youtube and this is also the other reason why i'm making this video there's only one other chick that i came across who actually has a review of the wigs um and on their own website and social media their instagram they have like, you know, the cute little photos and sale sales and all that type of promo stuff, but there's not really any comments. I don't really see any comments left by people. And then as far as like on anywhere else on the website, I mean, excuse me, anywhere else on the internet with the exception of their actual uh, page, um, that's only where you can find reviews and most of them are like four or five stars. Um, but I did find one page, it's Lipstick Alley, it was like a thread that I found and there were mad complaints, mad people complaining about the shipping time. Um, there were people talking about um, the like at one point, the and this was just 2017 that the website was down. There were people complaining about um, receiving their wigs in plastic bags um, and you guys saw how mines came. So they're not even coming in a box. Um, it's just, I don't know, the overall experience just seems a little bit, I don't know, it just, I'm just kind of disappointed. At this point, I kind of feel like I got gypped because, you know, I had to wait three weeks to get a unit that doesn't fit. And um, at this point, I'm getting ready to leave the country like in less than a week and I'm just, I'm pretty much out of money, so. Um, it's just unfortunate and I sent an email today um, and I haven't heard anything back from anyone and they don't even have holiday hours up so I don't know if people are just if they're off all this week who knows it doesn't say anywhere on their social media or website so if you're trying to get a hold of them it's just kind of like a so basically it's just a bunch of inconsistencies to me with this company it's upsetting because I, I'm all about trying to support black businesses, but sometimes it seems like it, there tends to be, depending on, not all, but you, you, it's like people aren't really handling their business the way they should be. It's just so many inconsistencies like on their website. Um, it says that your, your human hair blend unit will be shipped in damage proof boxing does not come in boxing. There have been other reviews um, where, that people, like I said before, come in just like a clear plastic bag. Mine's came through you, United States Postal Service. So I, it just seems like, I don't know, I'm just I'm trying to imagine where they are in Georgia and what type of setup this actually is. Like the little silk bag was just like some bag a little bit cushioned but it's like a little made in vietnam like I, I don't know it just seems like it might really be on some real mom and pop shit like um so yeah it's just i'm just kind of like i'm pissed y'all they got my money and i got a wig that is too small for my head and that's the other thing it says that it's big head friendly specifically says this and it also says that it's one size fit all which doesn't make sense because see I'm, I'm a novice i don't really know much about wigs um but at the same time it's like all wigs aren't one size fits all um it came with the bands already out at the last notch so it was no further i could expand it so if anything it's like a small head friendly i, I really don't know it's like there wasn't even a card that came with the wig um explaining how to care for it they do have instructions on their website but at the same time it's kind of like like y'all don't even throw in a car it just seems like I, I just don't know what's out it just feels like it's like maybe this is being done in somebody's bedroom i really have no idea i'd like to hear from them maybe to see if they would rectify the situation but at this point i'm about to be out in a week so i'm pretty much just going to dispute the dispute this with my bank because they say on their website that they don't 
do any refunds, which I think is ridiculous because if the unit hasn't been worn, hasn't been cut, you should ought to just be able to take the unit back considering that you're, you're misrepresenting your product and it isn't what you say it is. So I will be taking it up with my bank and at least trying to see if I can um, get something, some money back before I bounce because I don't have time to waste anymore with loveless wigs. So what I would say my overall, my overall review of loveless is um, the wig itself, it's an, if it, if it, like I said, if it was bigger and it actually fit properly, I was willing to, the shipping wasn't an issue because the wig, it did get here in time, but I feel like now knowing everything I know and now when, that I've gotten the unit, I don't think I will be buying anything else from them ever again. I would say that if you're looking into them, order at your own risk. If you need the wig by a certain time, um, all I say is if you need the wig within the next month, I wouldn't order it. Um, if you don't have a time limit, good luck. Go ahead and order it, like I said, at your own risk. Um, you're gonna get it in the bag, there's no frills. Like honestly, I feel like the nicest thing that about the company is the damn website. Cause it looks like editorial, like photo shoot model, all this and that. So that that part's nice. The the model, whoever this chick is, it look it all looks great. It looks fantastic. So um, order at your own risk. If you do happen to get it, and I'm sure there's some people like the other chick that has a review on YouTube. Um, I'll try to post a link to her hers in the under in the description box but um her she seemed to like her unit she had to cut it or I think she had to kind of alter it in some way shape or form but she seemed like it was cool for her so like I and there, like I said there's some people that have gotten it and they enjoy it so that's good but I mean I kind of feel like it's your gambling I guess their thing is it's affordable wigs. A lot of the units are 90 or 100 and the custom ones go further up from there. But there's just so many other wig companies that you can go with um, and probably get the same quality, um, probably get it in faster time. And it's probably more of a guarantee that you're gonna get the product that you um, actually ordered. So it's, it is a no for me, is a no dog. Yeah, but I best believe I will be getting my money one way or another, trust. So yeah, anyway, um, I just wanted to put up this quick video. Um, my main channel is Do You Speak Cilantro, which I'll also leave a link down in the bottom. I don't normally talk about wig stuff. I'm a chef and I'm a nomad, so it's more kind of like travel, black girl magic adventures abroad. So if you're interested in checking that out, please hit the link in the description box and just go over there, or maybe I'll put something up there. But anyway, um, happy shopping and good luck. Anybody who, you know, if you're gonna order from Lo Loveless, good luck, that's all I can say. So anyway, peace guys.